The CDC estimates roughly 48 million people in the U.S. get sick with food-related illnesses every year. These cases increase in the summer months as we attend more cookouts and gatherings. And whether you are grilling at home, camping, or having a picnic this holiday weekend, experts want to remind you to prepare your food safely. So joining me now is Meredith Carruthers from the USDA with some simple ways to avoid any food-related health threats for your summer festivities. Meredith, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. This is so important. I'm glad we are going over food safety. While I maybe am not the cook in my household, I know I need to know this stuff. So let's talk about it. The USDA has four steps for food safety. What are they? So our four steps for food safety are clean, separate, cook, and chill. Clean means starting with clean hands and utensils and making sure those get washed throughout food preparation and after as well. Separate is keeping your raw meat and poultry products separate from any foods that are ready to eat or won't be cooked later on. So like your sides, like the potato salad that you're gonna be having at your cookout this weekend or all summer. Um, cook is cooking to a safe internal temperature as measured by a food thermometer, which is super important to have by you at your grill this summer. And then lastly, chill refers to keeping foods at a safe temperature, especially in these summer months when the weather is hot, it's, you know, people are outside, keeping your food at a safe temperature is going to be really important to make sure those harmful bacteria don't multiply to dangerous levels. We'll talk about the thermometers here in a moment, but first there's a range of temperatures you're calling the danger zone. What is that? So the danger zone is a range of temperatures between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, where bacteria like to start multiplying rapidly. And of course, as it gets warmer, bacteria will start to multiply faster. So especially as we're going to be outside this summer, the weather is nice and warm. Keeping in mind this danger zone and the amount of time that you have for your food to be safe is super important. So we actually have what's called a two hour rule, which means that you shouldn't have your food out at, you know, in that danger zone for more than two hours because two hours is about that sweet spot to where bacteria will start to multiply and get to those dangerous levels that can then make your food completely unsafe. If the temperature is above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, you want to bump that down to one hour. Now it's been really nice here in Indiana, so we've had a lot of good grilling weather. I know we've been doing a lot of chicken, hamburgers on the grill. So when it comes to meat, is color a reliable indicator if it's done or not? It is not. So especially when you're grilling food, it, you know, the grill, we all love those good grill marks and you know they're awesome to see, but the grill can actually make your food look done before it actually is. So it's a little deceptive sometimes and color is not the best way to tell if your food is safe to eat. The best way and the most safest way, the only way is to use a food thermometer and to use it correctly. So especially for things like burgers or any, you know, sausages or thin chicken breasts, if you're using those on the grill, you want to make sure that you're actually putting the food thermometer through the side of the food to make sure it's getting into the middle without it being too shallow to get an actual, you know, accurate reading on your food thermometer. But using a food thermometer is the only way to tell if it's safe to eat. I just bought a new one and it's so nice. You stick it right, in. it's so easy. And then it tells you in <laughs> seconds what the right temperature is. So it's great. Let's talk about frozen foods real quick before we go. Um, how, what are the steps people should take with those? So a lot of frozen foods will potentially look like they're fully cooked when they might not actually be. So, you know, some things that are breaded or if some burgers have grill marks on them, it might look like they're fully cooked and they're fully done but some of them might actually still be raw. So it is important to look at the package, know what type of product you're getting. Regardless, you know, you wanna handle frozen foods similar to how you would handle any raw foods, washing your hands, kind of keeping them separate from other foods, fully cooking them and fully bringing them to whatever safe internal temperature is on the package, especially if it is a fully cooked product, you know, the package will usually say. If it's a raw product, it definitely needs to come to a safe internal temperature, but following the packaging and handling it like you would most other raw foods. Meredith, thank you for this advice. That was great. Happy 4th of July. Thanks. Have a safe holiday weekend. Yes. For these food safety tips and more from the USDA, just head on over to fox59.com links.